All right, so now we're ready. We have the occlusal part of it pretty much where we want it. So we're gonna take out the matrix system. So we're gonna first remove the wedge. Remember your wedge is on the lingual part. Okay, and then we're gonna loosen the Toffelmeyer. Good, and then we'll use our cotton pliers to kind of pull out that band and you're gonna seesaw it out. You don't wanna pull it out too hard. So on the mesial, it's fine because there's no wall we're building. But here on the back side, you wanna be careful not to pull your wall off. So if you see, she's gonna kind of seesaw it out of there and make sure we come out easy. There we go, perfect. Good, 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 okay. So now the goal there is to have contact for the contact space, but not a big gap. So let's look over there. Looks pretty good. Yeah. And you don't wanna floss it because you don't wanna pop it out, but you usually can visually see. Mm -hmm. And then we would just clean up a little bit on the top, any flashing that's over top. Make it nice and clean. Right there, going along that cablo surface margin. Making sure it's clean. And then I like to finish it off with a little bit of alcohol on top when I'm done because then it kind of seals it up and it makes it nice and shiny. Mm -hmm. Alcohol in there, clean it all up. And then we will articulate it to make sure that it's not too high. The patient will bite down. And we don't want them biting just on the filling. So we're a little high right there where that dark blue is. So we're gonna go back to our carver, our discoid cleoid, yep. And we're gonna just take that blue down. It's gonna carve it out of there. So we don't want the patient to bite on our filling. and then you would keep articulating until you don't have any blue marks on your filling material. So, clean it up. Good, and then we'll articulate it again. Patient bites down, good. All right, and now we look good. There we go, there's our filling.